Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. And today we're going to be focusing on a very special wine from Barossa, but even more importantly, we will be talking about decanting. And so, I'm really excited about this episode because I think it's going to be a very eye-opening experience for many of the viewers. Again, the comments have been flowing in, the emails are streaming in, and uh, everybody's so excited about the value and the learning experience, and that's just got me very jazzed up. So today I'm inspired to talk about decanting because I think it's very important and there's some interesting things about it, and so we will, uh, we will get into that. Before I get into decanting, I'm going to talk about Amon Ra. Amon Ra, and specifically the 2004 Shiraz, is one of the great Shirazes from Barossa Valley, which to me, Barossa Valley is really the Napa Valley of Australia. It is the top growing area for all premium Australian Shiraz especially. Ben Glatzer is son of Colin Glatzer. Colin Glatzer invented, created the E&E Black Pepper Shiraz, which is very famous and has had big scores. Ben and his father agree in the same philosophy of terroir. Terroir really means soil, the, the land, believing in the land. And the land where this comes from, the Ebenezer Vineyards, has 80 to 100 year old vines, just old gnarly vines of phenomenal Shiraz, sometimes only pulling a half a ton to the acre, which is such a small amount, and that's why you're getting such great quality. These wines have gotten tremendous scores from Robert Parker, the real famous wine critic in the world, and from Wine Spectator and Tanzer. Everybody really has adored the Glatzer wines, including the Matolo wines and the Amon Ra. So I'm a big fan of the wine, and I thought it would be a great wine to use for decanting. Decanting. Why do people decant? De people decant mainly because at this point, in this era of wine, to really let a wine with a lot of flavor or a lot of acidity, a very young wine, to breathe. More open space, allowing the oxygen to come in and break up the tannins and give you more flavor, more on the nose. In the old days, the reason that people were decanting was before this unfining and unfiltering that winemakers do in modern era, a lot of wines had tremendous amounts of sediment. So you basically had to decant out of necessity. And that's why you, you may have seen in those old movies with the candle. So you can see how much you really don't need a candle anymore to decant wine because there's really no, no residue or anything really left over. Now wine that's about 10 or 15 years may collect some sediment. So if you've ordered an old wine or if at a restaurant or have had an old wine in a wine tasting, you will notice the sediment and again the candle or the light will come in handy. But in today's era, nowadays, the real great use for a decanter is to allow a young wine to open up a little bit more than it is at this point. You get a lot more, you tend to get a lot more flavor, a lot more uh, approachability and, and just a lot more complexity and fruits and everything really by decanting because the air is coming in, breaking up the tannins and allowing you to taste the wine. So let's do that today. Here is a bottle of 2004 Amon Ra Shiraz that has been decanted for about four to five, four to five, six hours. Here is a fresh bottle of 2004 Amon Ra. So let's open it. I rarely use a foil cutter. I always go to pull it off. So if you can pull it off, it's like saves you a step. Smelling this wine on the nose right away, I almost get like a soap smell. You know, it's kind of very closed. These are big wines. I mean, this is as black as any wine that we have tasted on Wine Library TV. Very closed still. I'm trying to swirl it, kind of bring a little oxygen to it. Kind of a very soapy medicine kind of smell. Now, to the seven, to the five or six hour decanted Shiraz. None of the smoke, snow, soap, excuse me. Tons of licorice, black currant, blackberry, blueberry pie. Completely different. I just wish you were here right now to smell how different these two wines are. Let's taste them. I'm going to start with 
いい音だなエクスペリエンス。We'll see you next time.